Hi sisters, James Charles here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here with a very, very special guest, a legend, queen of season nine of RuPaul's Drag Race, Farrah Miller. Yes. <laughs> so her and I have known each other and been following each other for a very long time on Instagram. And it's been a minute. It's been a minute, a hot minute for sure. And I messaged her a long ass time ago as soon as like those season nine speculations were coming out and I was like, hi season nine queen. And she's like, oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. No idea. So it definitely was not giving me any hints, but I knew. I knew that this bitch was gonna be here and she was gonna kill it and now, I was right. Here we are. <laughs> I wanted to sit down today and film my transformations for you guys. I am so freaking excited. Farrah is going to be putting her face onto mine. Are you guys ready to see James Charles Farrah rise? If you want to see the completed look, make sure you keep on watching. So we just went ahead and we covered my brows and sideburns off camera. This is a very, very lengthy process for like all drag queens. Miss Farrah over here has her shaved off. So first things first, we're actually going to color correct the brows and the sideburns. This is actually the cover effects and the color brick. It's amazing. I've gone through like five of these. <laughs> I literally shaved this morning and like my beard is already growing back. I like to always shave right before I put my makeup on because mine is notorious for growing straight through my makeup. Willem? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Willem part <R2>. two. <laughs> Since we're covering his brows, we're actually gonna go with a really like high coverage foundation stick. This is the Krylon TV paint stick. So right now, Farrah's just using a beauty blender and blending out this crazy ass brow and sideburn cover. We had to use a really, really light foundation for this just because it's the only Krylon TV paint stick I have. And we needed that full coverage to cover everything because sister got a lot of hair up in here. Perfect. Oh my! <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay, so now that this is all on, we're gonna go ahead and move on with our foundation. And today, we're gonna be using foundation that I have never used before the Georgia Armani Luminous Soap, which I am so excited for. So, before we get any comments as well, I did get a spray tan because I'm going on a very exciting beach vacation in a few days. You guys watching this now will have already seen it because this video will not be going up for a few weeks but I did get a little bit of a spray tan, and we have this Melanie Mills Hollywood Gleam body stuff on. Oh my god, my body Every is literally day. like radiating from within. Like, I, it's so beautiful, I feel like a bronze goddess, so that is why my foundation is a little bit darker today, because obviously I did not put it on my face, so I don't want any comments about it. We're matching the face to the neck like you're supposed to. They're gonna think we're so extra, but we're gonna go in with another foundation. <gasps> we're so crazy. <laughs> so crazy. So crazy. <laughs> You know, there are some people that mix like three or four foundations, like other every day, like makeup look. I just use like one. Really? <laughs> I just use like one. I've never mixed foundations. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. It's remarkable. Like, it covers a five o'clock shadow like no one's business. That's like that's actually enough to cover the whole entire face if you're doing you like a, if you're doing the light coverage. Can't relate either. Never experienced that. Before. With that. <laughs> <laughs> never heard of her. Light coverage. Should we do some on like, the brown as well? Oh, especially over here. Yeah. Everybody, I actually mixed a little mixture of like um, Vinaya powders, um, Luxury Banana powder, um, and then some Laura Mercier powder, a little bit of like white powder, and then a little bit of chestnut powder just to kind of make like a little bit of oh, You have custom colors. Yeah, I, that's, that's a trick that I picked up early on in my drag career. So tell me what it was like to be on RuPaul's Jog Race. It was so weird, honestly. Like, really? Yeah, well, I mean, it, so when, when, you, when I walked in the workroom, I was like, I had I was gonna say like hi mom or something funny like that, but all I could think was like, oh my god, like this is what it looks like. Like it felt like I had jumped into my TV screen. Can you imagine James Charles for RuPaul's Drag Race season eleven? How old will I be? Oh no, we need to be. It'd be like season season seventy six. <laughs> I'm not old enough to be on the show. Okay guys, now I'm gonna go in with my next step, and I told James that I was gonna do this, and he like freaked out. He was like, what the heck? That's so against the rules. I'm very, very nervous this. So basically, Farrah told me that she's going to be putting my concealer on, even though she already powdered my other eyes. Yeah. If you are a fan of beauty gurus and YouTuber people, you know that this is like rule number one, that you never ever apply. Well, like they've never said not to. I think they definitely have said that. I've like, never seen someone say it. That's like rule number one. You don't put liquids or creams over powder, but... But we do it all the time when we glue our brows down. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's right. Yeah. Well, 
I guess you know what, Queen, you do you. So this is the tart um Maraju Maracuja. Maracuja. I've never been able to say that and I've been using this for years. Um, Maracuja creaseless concealer. I swear by it, I know they have a new concealer out that everyone's raving about. I haven't tried it yet. I'm sure I'll love it if I love this one so much. Um, but here we go. So how long have you been doing drag for? I've been doing drag for five years now. Oh, Queen of Las Vegas. Yeah, I didn't move to Las Vegas though until last year, January 1st. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm originally from Texas, born and raised in Houston. Oh, she's um, a Texas girl. I'm a Texas, in the Texas girl. Texas world. Texas born and raised. Five points if you know what video that's right. <laughs> Um, but I got my drag start in Austin, Texas when I was 18. I had a fake ID. Um, Queen of scamming. Queen of scamming. Jordan is shook right now. Whoa, do you sketch out your creases before you put any shadow or anything on there? I'm sketching out where your eyebrow's gonna go. Like the brow highlight. Whoa. Mm -hmm. You know that like ahead of time? Where I'm gonna put your brow? Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. I always do my brows first and then like sketch them out with concealer after. Everyone who's like got a brain kind of does that. Look at it out. My um, brows are like never like twins. They're always like sisters. That's okay. We here on the James Charles channel, we love sisterhood. So. <laughs> That's how it is. I'm gonna make a little mixture again, where I'm gonna actually do a little bit of our original mixture, but then put more of the Laura Mercier in it. Queen of mixing. I like to start with little tiny amounts of powder first and then obviously build because I feel like if you put too much on too fast it'll crack and be cakey and like ruin your day. So far I was using a little bit of sugar pill taco on my brow bone just because my brows are still looking very very dark and very very hairy because we have a lot of brows up in here so I figured <laughs> a lot of brows. A lot of brows we want like the best coverage possible so this shadow is doing a fantastic job of adding a little bit of extra lightness up there. Truly. We'll probably end up using this on your eyelid too, because I love a white cut crease like, on the lid. Mm -hmm. This is in the color Pinch of Peach. I just love a pink blush, honestly, truly. <laughs> I don't like orange blushes, I don't like dark, I just, pink blush is all I wear. See, I never wear blush, period. Ever? Ever. So now we're gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and Gleam. We're gonna highlight him before we bake. So Farrah's highlight is obviously like, what she's known for, and like her Instagram pictures. Oh, every single fucking time, I'm like literally blinded. Like, I'm like, oh, good thing I'll have to text her my hospital bill because I just lost my vision. <laughs> so we went in with Starburst first, and now we're gonna go in with Crushed Pearl. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> okay, I definitely see that. She's there. Okay guys, we're gonna go do eyeshadow now. Um, we're going with my favorite eyeshadow of all time. If you are actually um, a follower of mine, you know that this is like my favorite eyeshadow. I should give it a shout out all the time. It's Sugar Pill uh, Dolly Pop. You're so strong. I admire you so much for being strong through it. Thank you. I had some hate during the MySpace days and it like almost killed me, but it wasn't even near the magnitude. I have a very, very thick skin. I just try to think, like, stay positive and stuff. And anytime I fuck up and make a really stupid mistake that people get mad over, I like to sit back and just like look at the situation and see like how I can grow and better myself as a person. But I think like that's the only thing you can do. Like, yeah. Obviously, unfortunately, there's no time machines yet, and you can't take things back. So at that point, like, what else can you do besides learn and just better yourself in the situation? You know. Well, yeah, and a lot of people that want to criticize you right now, honestly, if they, if people dug up what they said on Twitter when they were 12 right, or 13 that's the years thing. old, everyone was problematic. Well, I feel like everybody has said things in their life that they would not publicize. It's just mine are all documented. Yeah. And, like, I'm not going to sit there and try to hide it and deny it because I said it and they were stupid and they were really, really ignorant, but I feel like nobody should really be, like, judged on what, on things that they've said so long ago. Like, anything can happen that can change somebody. Like, something can happen tomorrow that could make Either one of us will be a different person for the rest of our lives, so I feel like nobody should be judged on what they said, like, even, like, a year ago, let alone four years ago. The fact that anything was said four years ago is not an excuse because it doesn't make it okay, but I feel like nobody should be judged for what they said so long ago because people change. 
And trust me, a lot of people agree with you on that. Now that we finished the liner, let's go in and cut that crease a little bit with the black eyeshadow. Yeah, I, we had to move positions because I could not get over there and do it at this angle. It was really hard. It's okay, now they're nice and cut, ready to cut a bitch, and we're going to continue on. I would literally just go on dry grades to hopefully win just to get the lifetime supply of Anastasia. Fuck the $100,000. Like, I want a lifetime supply of Anastasia. Like, Beverly Hills makeup. I mean, honestly, that's why I did it. No, right. Like, I would do the same thing. <laughs> So we're gonna actually go in with some Jeffree Star um, Drug Lord. I like to do this as like the little white liner right there. I've never actually tried this on a lip, but I love it as a liner. I guess it's time for brows, guys. I feel like so nervous because you're like the, the king of brows. <laughs> Give me fair brows. That's what you're gonna get. <laughs> Uneven brows. <laughs> Uneven. I self drive though. <laughs> I talk about it on my Twitter all the time. I'm like, I wish that maybe just one time in my life I could have symmetrical eyebrows. <laughs> I feel like when I do drag, I can like slay the face and like contour my eyes. The thing that's hardest for me is the brows. Really? I don't know why. I feel like because of my brows, I'm so used to like the very, very straight, like no arch type of shape, like super duper thick. So it's very, very hard for me to like imagine. Something else on my face. It's okay. I've done better brows, but it'll do. Just do a couple little hairs. Do y'all care if I do this off camera? Because it's like they can't answer your sister. I know, but they can. They can like rhetorically answer when they watch it. Because they don't care. We're gonna do, we're gonna do the other brow off camera, or else we're gonna be here for another seventeen hours. So we'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, yeah, guys, we just finished the other brow. Um, like I said, my brows are never symmetrical. They're never even. Give me a break. I'm not like Miss Fame. Just let me live, okay? They might look a little better after I clean it up with this. So this next step I do, I take a kind of like a taupe colored eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is um, Ash Brown. I always like to take this, and this is kind of what I put the hairs in with. I think that it's like first I like to line the bottom of it. Okay, we're going in with this um Benefit Roller Lash. That's what's so cool about these particular pairs is that they look different on everybody. Oh, they look so pretty. You look like a little like doll, like a little or like a little deer or something. You know, like a doe, a deer. A doe, yeah. yeah a deer. So what I always like to do after I put the lashes on is like go over one last time with the liquid liner because especially with like a white eyeshadow, it'll always fall. And if I'm feeling really extra, I'll bring the liquid liner to the club. You're like, crazy. I'm so sick though. When I like go out with like makeup, I'll bring so much with me. I always have my beauty blender, my tweezers, my lash glue. So it wouldn't be a pheromone look without the little individual bottom lashes. Yes. Um, so obviously I'm gonna go back in with that amazing industrial house of lashes, <laughs> lashes he said. <laughs> that I'm literally obsessed with. That's so good. Um, and we're gonna put the little rhinestones as well with this. That looks so good. It looks so good. Oh my god, okay, y'all. It's I'm my so, favorite part. I'm so excited. I did a tutorial a few weeks ago using the crystals under the eyes. Oh my god, I love it. It's such like a pretty little detail. They have to be Swarovski's though. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this looks so good. Doesn't it, doesn't it do a really nice distraction from the like uneven brows? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> it's, you it's uneven brows. brows. <laughs> yeah, look, they look, it makes. Oh, it just catches the light so nicely. Are you ready for your lips, James? I'm so ready. This is like my favorite lip liner by MAC. They just sent me a huge package to my new apartment and I still have it all on my kitchen table, but Farrah yeah. told us, I was like, we need to use this today. So I was like, okay, sister. It's called Edge to Edge. Um, it's like a pinky kind of nude. Now that we've lined the lips with Edge to Edge by MAC, we're going to go in with actually my favorite pink nude. It is um, Jeffree Star Doll Parts.
were. All right, guys, so this is the makeup all complete. We're gonna pop on some earrings and a wig and then an outfit as well, and we'll be right back with the completed look. Ow! Wow. these earrings and this wig. I'm living for this like old Hollywood, Maryland, and when ho style look we have going on. Thank you girl for fucking slaying my face. I, I oh, this look is everything. You're so welcome. You've been officially fair, guys. Yes. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. And subscribe if you have not already. I post videos every single week and I would love to have you join the sisterhood. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow my Instagram and Twitter. They're both just James Charles and my snap for more behind the scenes type stuff is James Charles, the next S after Charles. If you want to follow Farah Moan, a legendary queen of season nine, please go follow her on everything. My username is Farahrise on Instagram and Twitter. Um, and I should have my new YouTube channel up by the time that this Hell is posted. Yes. So exciting. I'm trying to like get her to join YouTube. I feel like there's a huge lack of amazing queens in the YouTube community. I would love to learn a ton from her. I already have learned a ton from her today. So I'm sure you guys will definitely want to check out her channel as well. So please go click the link down below and subscribe. Tell her sister James sent you. <laughs> thank you so much for having me today. Oh, let's go. Thank you so much for being on my channel. Oh, it's so much I cannot wait to see you slay every single fucking episode of yes! season nine. Make sure you guys check out RuPaul's Drag Race every single Friday on VH1 from now on. Thank you, girl. You're so welcome. Thank you. Oh, oh my, my little dad daughter. daughter. Yes. Living for it. All right, guys. Thank you so freaking much for watching. And I will see you next week with a new video. Bye, sisters. Bye.